My name is David Petrosky. I'm an attorney in California representing landlords. In this video, I'm going to be discussing new rules in the city of Los Angeles. In particular, I'll be discussing new permanent tenant protections that the LA City Council created on January 20th, 2023. First, just a little bit about myself. I'm consistently rated in five stars. I've been representing landlords since 2004. I'm a published author and a referral source for many realtors, landlords, and other attorneys. And we get results. Of course, there's no guarantee of success on any given case. I also want to point out that the rules surrounding evictions and landlord-tenant law in California is changing. This video may not be updated to reflect the most recent rules, so don't rely on this for legal advice. On January 20th, 2023, the LA City created a set of eviction protections that's wide-reaching and will impact many landlords and tenants in the city of Los Angeles. First, LA City created just cause eviction protections that will extend to properties that have normally and historically been exempt from rent control and just cause eviction protections in the city of Los Angeles. In particular, just cause has been expanded to include single-family homes, condos, newer properties, and other types of properties that have been exempt from rent control until now. When you want to evict a tenant in the city of Los Angeles, you're now going to have to have what's called a just cause reason to evict the tenant. Just cause can be either an at-fault reason or a no-fault reason. One of the common no-fault reasons is when an owner wants to move into their own property. Well, under this new law just passed by LA City Council, Whenever a landlord wants to evict a tenant for a no-fault reason, the landlord is going to have to pay the tenant relocation money. So that's very important. When you're evicting a tenant for an at-fault reason, you don't have to pay relocation money. And I go into more details on this on my blog article, and the link will be uh, below. So you can always um, read that article for more information. But when you are evicting a tenant for a no-fault reason, it can't just be any no-fault reason that you want. It has to be one of the allowable no-fault reasons that the city will allow for. You are going to have to pay the tenant relocation money in those types of circumstances. Please note that these just cause eviction protections will be granted to tenants after the initial lease expires or after six months, whichever comes first. So I can foresee many landlords initially creating only a month-to-month -month tenancy with the tenant or a tenancy of less than six months, use that as a trial period to see if the landlord wants to keep that tenant as a long-term tenant. This is really going to be bad in long term for tenants and for landlords in a lot of cases because it will provide some uncertainty on whether a tenant will become long term or remain as a short term tenant. Another new rule under the uh, city council um, law that was passed on January 20, 2023 has to do with non-payment of rent cases. Now, non-payment of rent is an at-fault reason for uh, an eviction. A tenant is violating a term of the agreement. They're not paying the rent when the rent is due. And historically, landlords have been able to evict a tenant uh, immediately, beginning with a three-day notice to pay rent or quit as soon as the tenant fails to pay the rent when the rent becomes due. Under this new law, landlords are going to have to wait until the tenant owes more than one month's worth of the fair market rent as determined by the U.S. Department of housing and urban development. The reason that the LA City did that is because they don't want landlords to evict a tenant um, after a tenant owes, let's say, $100, $200, uh, but rather they want the amount of non-payment to be more significant, which really isn't fair to landlords because eviction cases take months anyway to go through this system. And if you're forcing landlords to wait until more than one month's worth of fair market rent is due before pursuing an eviction, you're just delaying the process even further and the landlord's probably going to lose ultimately more money in the long run. Next, having to do with rent increases. If landlords want to raise the rent more than 10%, of course there are other laws that do limit potential rent increases, which this uh, video is not going to go into detail about, but if you uh, are allowed to raise the rent by more than 10% and if you do indeed uh, go forward with a rent increase of more than 10%, then you may owe the tenant relocation money if the tenant decides to move as a result of that rent increase. I encourage you to follow us on social media. 
uh, Facebook, Twitter. We post a lot of updates on a regular basis. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bookmark our Landlord Tenant Evictions blog, which is attorneydavid.com slash blog. If you're a landlord and you want information on what you can or cannot do when it comes to an eviction, you can also go to our website. Again, that website is attorneydavid.com. Schedule an informational phone call with us, and we're happy to go over your individual situation. Thank you so much.